I'm uninstalling the Guide Gear wood stove and replacing it with the Winterwell Nomad View. I had this wood stove for about three years and it served me well, but it's time to retire it. So in today's video, I'll be setting all of this up and I'm going to see how long it takes to actually heat up the shed. It's currently around like 28 degrees or so. We'll see how long it takes to heat up the entire shed, including my extension. And while we're at it, let's cook up a burger. It's incredibly rusted, so that's why I'm happy to have the stainless steel uh, winter well stove instead. Yeah, so I won't have this problem. <clears throat> So I have two right angle pipes like this that will go together that will lead outside. But I also have this as sort of like an extension like that. So it will give me a little bit more clearance from the wall. So let's see how this works. <laughs> I kind of want to have it just like this, so that way I can see the fire. There you go. This gives me enough clearance over here and here. So yeah, I'll get some more bricks later, but for now, yeah, this looks good. And I'll just have the pipe come up and I'll angle it out that way. like it's a good height. But I gotta make sure it fits though. Okay, it fits. Hey there. <laughs> I might need a little bit more extension. Yeah. This might not work. So the problem here is this right here. So it needs to be pulled out a little further like this. But if I have it out like this, I'm not gonna have a whole lot of clearance on the inside. We can try this for now, but I'm going to have to move the wood stove over a little bit. Turn this a little bit. So this setup works, but I don't have as much clearance as I want, but this is pretty much the same amount of clearance that I had um, from the previous uh, uh, wood stove. So I mean, this is not bad, um, but I would prefer to have it a little bit out a little bit more. Yeah, I want one more like extension piece that comes out a little further. That'll be perfect. You'll notice I have a panel missing up here. I'm going to fix that later once I clear out the stuff on the walls. So when I'm pounding on the wall here, I'm not like knocking stuff down. There you go. All right. Uh, 
Bob's it's on. And nice and sturdy. It looks nice. Yeah, I know it's a little too close. That's okay for now. But yeah, it's uh, way above the shed, actually. This one used to be like just right below it. So like, the old one used to end pretty much right here, I think. But this has all of that right here. And it has the spark arrest. But yeah, this looks really good. See? It goes out like that. So I'm probably going to buy another section like this. And then, uh, yeah, this is nice. Let's get a fire started. Look at that. Don't that look so cool? <laughs> I love this. This is so nice. All right, let's check the temperature. There's 30 degrees and it goes by increments of two. So it's about 37 degrees or so. So 37 degrees. Let's um, let this keep burning and see how fast we can get this shed to heat up. Putting some Dano's hot chipotle on. It's gonna be released tomorrow. Pop it on like that. Flip it over. There you go. <clears throat> well, that's not good. <laughs> that is not good at all. So that means I gotta put some support on the outside and make sure that doesn't happen. Yeah. I got to secure it to the shed. I'll get, I'll get like a piece of metal that loops around and then I'll have it like have the pipe up above just secured. And so that way it doesn't move right now. It's kind of just kind of pushing out. Um, and so that's not that big a deal. I'll be able to fix it. No problem. It's been about an hour now, so let's take a look at the temperature. Look at that. This is 40, that's 50. 52, 54, about 56 degrees. So this wood stove here is heating this area and it's 56 degrees. The craziest thing, the door is open. The main shed right now is pretty warm. This is actually a really comfortable temperature to sleep in. So I'm going to take it and I'm going to place it over here in this side of the shed. I'm going to put it on the furthest side. I'm going to set it right here in the corner. I'm going to leave it over there for about 10 minutes or so for it to go down in temperature and see. 
And once I'm done cooking and eating, I'm going to close up the door and I'm going to see how hot uh, this entire shed can get. I've closed off the airflow a little bit and I've closed it off a little bit here too. That's all the airflow that it's getting right now. But it's actually doing pretty well. Let's see. Yeah, see? Let's add some dragon's breath cheese. Hmm. Let's make a burger. Oh my god. That is so good. <laughs> mm. Haven't had such a good burger in such a long time. Gotta pair this with some meat sweat. Beer for burgers. <laughs> ah, yeah. It's a really nice mild beer. It has some real nice hoppiness to it. But this is a lager though. Food to pair perfectly with our smashingly good burgers. This is a bastardization of some of our favorite lager, lagerish traditions from near and far with our good buds at the private sector. Meat sweats. It's a 5.5. Yeah, it's very light, but that's really interesting. It doesn't have like a huge kick in flavor, and it does pair well with a burger. Mm hmm. <laughs> All right, let's go check on the thermometer. Okay. Other side of the shed. It's been a good 20 minutes actually. Over here on this side, it looks like it dropped down to 46 degrees. Or close to 48, I guess. So it dropped a good, what was it? Let's see here. It was originally about 58, right? Yeah, so it dropped about 10 degrees. So I think for now, I can assume that uh, the temperature difference between the two sides is going to be about 10 degrees or so. So over here, it'll it's a little cooler over here, but it's nice. Um, so yeah, 40, yeah, so yeah, 48 degrees, it's not that bad. A nice blanket will keep you warm through the night in this side. But over there, where the wood stove is, it's probably going to be a lot warmer. So I'm going to add a bunch of firewood and I'm going to add larger logs so it'll burn a little bit longer. And I'm going to let it sit for about an hour and see how warm it can get up in here. This piece here is large enough. And I'm going to close it a little bit like this. I'm going to turn it down just a tiny bit. And so I'm going to let this run for a little bit. So hopefully that singular log is going to burn slowly and then it'll radiate enough heat in here to warm up the entire shed. We'll see how long that actually takes. So 
I closed the door, but I still have a lot of airflow because the door isn't entirely like draft proof because there's a lot of cracks and stuff. And on the other side of the shed, uh, I just have it wrapped and stuff like that. And there's still a lot of openings, so cold air can still come in. But I'm hoping that this will be able to radiate, radiate enough heat to circulate in this general area for the most part. Um, and so, yeah, we'll see. All right, so I left the fire going for about an hour or so, and it's so warm in here. So look at this. On the main side of the shed, it's about 74 degrees. Like, look at that. That's 60. Right there in the center is 70. 74 degrees. So warm in here. It's crazy. All right, so let's go over here. Oh, nice. So it's a little bit cooler in here. It's a lot more comfortable in my opinion. All right, so I'm going to set this down for about 10 minutes or so to get to temperature. All right, so it's been about 10 minutes. 64 degrees. Yeah, so basically on the opposite end of the shed, uh, it's about a 10 degree difference. And the craziest thing is, like, this right here is just a wrap. This is a big opening, but it's just a wrap. Up here, it's not even closed. Like, it's open. <laughs> and same with all of that right there, too. All of that is just opened. And I still have this right here. So there's a draft that comes through right here. I'm going to close this off eventually. But even though there's like a ton of draft and a bunch of openings and stuff, this wood stove has been able to successfully heat this entire shed to a very comfortable level. This is amazing. Like I am really impressed. And just look at it. It looks so cool. <laughs> you see all of that too? Like that's my door. Like all of that are just a bunch of holes. So there's a ton of airflow coming through. So there's a huge draft. So definitely my shed is not like airtight at all. Like it's, it's very open. So the fact that my shed is the way it is and this is able to heat it up so well is, is very, very nice. So yeah, this is cool. So once I'm actually done with my shed build and my shed extension, I am going to spend a night in my shed in the winter. So this is going to be a lot of fun. Wait for you to watch all of this or to experience all of this with me. And it's going to be a lot of fun. I can't wait. And I'm, and I'm quitting my job in a month. That's insane. I can't believe that I'm saying that <laughs> at the beginning of the year like I had that in my head right but I never expected to really have this just in concrete you know in my heart that I'm going to quit my job and I'm gonna start creating content full-time I'm excited I'm really excited yeah once I'm done with everything gonna clean things up organize it and my extension is going to be sort of like my tiny home. I'm going to build it in such a way where it'll be like a tiny home. I want a sink in here, kind of, and like running water or something like that. And I want to um, run into the challenge of trying to keep water from freezing. And so that's going to be an interesting thing to tackle. It's going to be cool. Or maybe I can use the wood stove to heat up water. I have the water tank also for this. And I'll show that in another video. I've already made other videos too. Just go here or somewhere um, and click on it and you will see um, the water tank that I'm talking about. <clears throat> but if you want to buy this wood stove, go to Winterwell's website. Uh, I'll have it linked down below and uh, go check them out. Like, it's been a pleasure working with Winterwell. Um, I love their products, and, like, I stand by it. Like, I purchased my first Winterwell product, um, like, this early spring or something. 
and it was the fast fold titanium wood stove. I spent like $600 or so on it and I love it and I'm still using it and everything. And then, yeah, they ended up reaching out and I'm a brand ambassador for them now. And they sent me this and they sent me the, the flat fold like fire pit also. And that has been really, really nice. Oh, man, it's so hot over here. <laughs> Okay, yeah, 10 degrees difference. This is so much better over here. But yeah, um, I appreciate their partnership and I appreciate you watching and hope you enjoyed the video. Um, please consider subscribing if you haven't already and uh, please smash that like button. It'll help out the algorithm. Share this, uh, share this video with friends. Um, comment. Consider buying some of my merch on my spread shop and I'll see you next time.